let's start. All right, let's just settle and land. So if you're sitting at a desk with your legs down, make sure they're in a parallel position. Other than that, if you're sitting, sitting in the regular cross-legged position, have something under your sit bones to support you, to support your pelvis, to raise you up a little bit. And if your hips and knees are tight, you can put something underneath either knee, a couple of cushions perhaps. So the idea is to have a pelvis upright, hands in the meditation mudra, right hand and left with the, the thumbs touching. So let's just imagine our spine is a string of pearls of light, stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head. And you can imagine there's someone above you or behind you very gently lengthening your spine. Let's just put some air in between those vertebrae. Now the head is slightly tipped forward, the eyes down looking along the length of the nose, tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth and just relax the jaw. And let's bring our attention to the crown of the head and relax the scalp, and the forehead and the eyes, the nose, the area around the mouth. Relax your cheeks and the jaw, the back of the head. And think particularly of the occipital bone, the base of the skull, as we hold a lot of, quite a lot of tension underneath there. And then let's just imagine we're shining a nice warm light into our eardrum. And imagine it relaxes. So right deep inside there. And then notice how your jaw releases the back of the tongue, the temples, relax the back of the neck. So just release any tension there as much as you can on your shoulders and let your shoulder blades drop down your back. And bring your attention to the upper thoracic region and as much as you can, just release any tension there. Relax your throat and chest and belly and limbs, hands, fingers, feet and toes and let's bring the mind to the breath as we notice the sensation of the air, it's cool as you breathe in, slightly warmer as you breathe out. If there are any sounds in your environment outside your home or in your house, Maybe pets, children, roommates. Just allow those sounds to be there. And try not to engage with the sounds or run off to investigate or push them away with aversion. Just allow them to be in the background. And then notice your thoughts as they are arising, abiding and falling. Just allow them. Try not to engage or judge. And bring the mind to the breath. And let's just bring to mind all the people of our life. And the ones we love. The ones we don't love. Maybe they irritate us. Maybe they've harmed us. Maybe we try to avoid them, keep them away. And then there's our strangers. The thing that I always try and remember with these three groups of people is that they can change place at any moment. And I'm learning, trying to learn, not to take those 
beautiful friendships in my life for granted because they could change any moment. And it's just due to the fact of karma. We live in this samsaric world where things are very unstable and impermanent. So it's really also very good to remember that just like us, all of these three groups of people, people in these three different groups, they all want to be happy, they don't want to suffer, and they all have this unbelievable capacity for enlightenment just like us. So I think we'll do this meditation tonight for the benefit of all these beings in our life, and by extension all sentient beings. And you can think maybe of perhaps there's someone you know who has COVID or is suffering from the after effects of COVID. We can think about those people in Hong Kong, Australia. And then of course there's Ukraine, Russia, and all the countries around that are affected. All these people who all of a sudden overnight almost displaced So think of them, we do this practice for them. And if there's anyone you know that you can name, maybe you'd like to bring them by your side. They can sit here and do the practice with you in your mind. Perhaps they wouldn't think to do the practice themselves or they're not able to. So we just do for them as well. So just remember there is no negativity that cannot be purified and this purification process is a psychological one. That's what Lama Yeshi says. You create negativity with your mind so we can create positivity with our mind. We can counteract it by doing this practice. So the first of the four opponent powers is the power of regret. And Lama Zaparimashe says that just even just bringing up regret in your heart, it's enough. It's a, a very good start to purification. Because if you regret deeply enough, it's likely you might not do this thing again. Or you'll be very, very careful next time. So regret's kind of very healthy. And it's not the same as guilt. So think you regret from the depths of the heart. Anything you've done to harm any living being on this day, in this life, or in all past lives. And think of specific actions of your body and your speech. And the reason to regret is based on the logic of karma. We experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions. So having harmed others, we ourselves will necessarily experience suffering in the future. So we know from our present suffering that we probably don't want any more future suffering. So therefore, logically, it makes sense that we remove the karmic seeds before they ripen as our future suffering. So think like this. I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows, because I do not want the future suffering. I'm sick of suffering. So also let's just regret our delusions, our anger, attachment and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others and again think I'm sick of this suffering. So what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So here we come to the power of reliance. So we rely upon we turn to, first of all, the Buddha, the doctor, who has the methods that we can use to purify. So no, we're not asking Vajrasattva to forgive us. We want to use his methods to heal ourselves, to purify ourselves. So you can imagine Vajrasattva above the crown of your head. And you can also think that this is the mind of your teacher, your lama, your trusted mentor, your spiritual guide, however you are seeing them, however deep your relationship is with them, or close, or not. You can, it just makes it a little bit more personal. So he's manifesting in this way for your benefit, whether they're male or female. He's made a radiant, blissful white light, sitting cross-legged on a white lotus. The lotus, although born out of mud, is un, untainted by that mud, just as are delusions our enlightened potential is born out of our delusions but yet untainted by them. So Vajrasattva has this beautiful, radiant, glowing face. 
His eyes are long and peaceful and full of love and compassion for us. He has a sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. He's wearing the five-pointed crown on his head. It's embedded with jewels. He's wearing earrings and necklaces and a beautiful belt around his waist and armlets and bracelets and anklets. He's wearing these really beautiful celestial kind of silken clothes in the Royal Indian style, so harem pants and then a bare chest and then floating around his chest are scarves, very light. So then he has an aura around his head and around his body and this aura is a made of light. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right, the, the left is holding a bell representing wisdom, the right is holding, sorry, the, the right is holding a vajra which represents the indestructibility of compassion and they're, they're being crossed represents the union of these two symbolizing enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajra Sattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So in order to develop compassion, this is the next little section in this, um, in this section, another subsection, we need to rely upon other beings. So we think first of all of the beings we have harmed. So just try and develop in your mind a compassionate heart towards them, a wish for them to be free from suffering. And then think of those who have harmed you. And maybe it's a little bit more difficult to develop compassion for them, but we can try. We can start by making it an intellectual exercise. We don't have to feel it necessarily from the heart straight away. So we just start, we think, may this person, these people, be happy, may they be free from suffering. Just to say the words is enough. Then slowly, slowly it will filter down to the heart. And the reason we, we feel compassionate towards them is because the suffering that they've caused you is going to turn into suffering for them in the future. So make a strong aspiration to do this practice of purification for the sake of all these sentient beings and think I must purify for their sake. So now we come to the power of the remedy and this is the medicine doing the practice of purification and this is the recitation of the mantra and visualization. So first of all we imagine Vajrasattva very compassionately sending powerful white nectar quite forcefully from his heart and this pours into your entire body filling you completely and it keeps pouring into you until it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you've ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid and this pours out of you and disappears into space not one atom left as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mepiyata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mutsa Vajrabawa Samaya Sattva A Om Pei Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawasidi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha ha ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe om bhadra sapa samaya manupalaya bhadra sapa dina patita dido mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawasidi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pei Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita 
Dida mebowa, sutokaya mebowa, supokaya mebowa, anarakta mebowa, sawasidi mepiyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame matza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe, um vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dida mebowa, sutokaya mebowa, supokaya mebowa, Anarakta me bawa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe, hum vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dida me bawa, sutokaya me bawa, supokaya me bawa, Anarakta me bawa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bhava maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any living being with your body is completely purified and think there is no way you could do anything other than benefit others now with your body. We just imagine as soon as they see you, as soon as they smell you, as soon as they sense you, they completely relax. They feel happy in their mind. It brings benefit to them, knowing you're around. So the next is a purification of speech. And again, Vajrasapa very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra. This arcs around and forcefully enters your crown, filling your entire body, except this time forcing up to the top of the body all the negativity of your speech and this overflows and disappears into space not one atom left so it's just the same uh, you can imagine it's kind of like when you fill a glass a dirty glass in a sink all the junk kind of fills up to the top and then overflows so sort of the same here except in this case all the junk which is the negativity of our speech kind of overflows quite forcefully and disappears into space. So imagine that all the gossip and the harsh speech and useless speech and lying and talking badly about others behind their backs, getting other people to agree with us, criticizing people, all of this is instantly purified by this powerful nectar filling you and overflowing as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawasiri Mepiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mata Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta me bawa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata kata vajra mame mata vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe, hum vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dida me bawa, sutokaya me bawa, supokaya me bawa, Anarakta me bawa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame mata vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe, hum vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dida me bawa, sutokaya me bawa, supokaya me bawa, Anarakta me bawa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe, hum vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dida me bawa, sutokaya me bawa, supokaya me bawa, Anarakta me bawa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe, hum vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dida me bawa, sutokaya me bawa, supokaya me bawa, Anarakta me bawa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe, hum vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dida me bawa, sutokaya me bawa, supokaya me bawa, 
and our acta me boa, sava sidi, me piata, sava kama sita me, sitam shriam karuhum, ha 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 ho, bagoan, sava tata gata, vaja mame, mutta vaja bawa, maho samaya satva a hum pe. So again, feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified, and imagine it's not possible to do anything other than benefit others now with your speech. So just think the moment they hear your voice benefits their mind, whether it's a person in a call center, someone hears you in the supermarket, or if it's your loved ones. Just make a wish that your speech will be benefit of benefit to everyone that hears you, even the animals, the birds. So next is the purification of the mind and Vajrasattva now very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra again and this arcs around and enters your crown and fills your entire being. And it's just like when you walk into a room and you switch on a light, that light instantly dispels the darkness in the room, doesn't it? So it's the same here. The moment the light from Vajrasattva's heart touches your heart, all the darkness of the negativity of your mind all your depression, all your anger, attachment, grasping and neediness, wanting things, not feeling enough, jealousy and bitterness and grudges, anxieties, all of this instantly dispelled upon contact with the light as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasafa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasafa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta me bawa sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajra bawa maho samaya sattva a hum pe hum vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dida me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa Anarakta me bawa sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Om vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dida me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa. Anurakta me bawa sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sitta me. Sitam shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a Om um, Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maho Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om um, Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta me bawa sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe um vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dira me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa Anarakta me bawa sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me Sitam shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maho samaya sattva a hum pe Om vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita Dira me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa Anurakta me bawa sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me Sitam shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maho samaya sattva a hum pe. So again, be delighted that all your delusions, which are the source of all of our own suffering and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech, are totally purified, gone. And think there's no space in your heart now for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. And now, the purification of the imprints of negativity of the body, speech, and mind. This is just like an extra clean here. So you can do, if you wish, a couple of mantras each 
for the visualization of the body, the speech and the mind. Or you can imagine light and nectar pouring in simultaneously, filling you completely and eradicating even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from your mind as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasafa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasafa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mepiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuruhum Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva Ahom Pe Om Vajrasafa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasafa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawasidi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya satva a hum pe om vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dida mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawasidi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hom pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hom pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hom Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hom Hey. So now rejoice, feel completely purified, not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream, even the subtlest obscurations to omniscience have been removed. So now we come to the power of resolve, but as we've been doing, let's just first of all rejoice in our efforts and our progress in refraining from those habits that we all have because we're all human we've been doing them for years if not lifetimes so just rejoice in the effort you've been making and your progress in refraining from doing those things and then maybe think of something that you would like to work on tonight just one thing for five seconds or one minute or eight hours while you're sleeping And just remember, as Rinpoche says, everything exists on the tip of the wish, the aspiration. So we think carefully, we make a decision, we decide to refrain as much as we can, whatever is realistic. And this determination to not do again is what gives us the strength to change. And Guru Vajrasattva is delighted with us. Wanting to merge with your mind melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown and think my guru's body, speech and mind, Vajrasapa's body, speech and mind and my own body, speech and mind are the same thing and Mamiyashi calls this union oneness. So next Rinpoche recommends to meditate on the emptiness of the three circles. In emptiness there is no I, the creator of negative karma, there is no action of creating negative karma and there is no negative karma created. So whatever level you understand emptiness, place your mind there just for a moment. You can think of all phenomena as being empty, not existing from their own side. 
And it's, we can also think that perhaps the way things appear to us might not necessarily be the way they exist. So let's just dedicate all the merit, the positive energy you've created this evening doing this purification to all living beings, thinking may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. And our long life prayers for His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the wish granting, wish fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And for Lama Zoparimbashe, you who uphold the subduer's moral way, who serves as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving and spreading Manjana's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplishes magnificent prayers, honouring the three jewels, savour of myself and others, your disciples, please, please live long. And for Lama Ursel, number one, to you whose kindness exceeds out of all the conquerors, for those wanderers in far off places, especially the West, mindful of your loving concern for us and intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land, we make this request, O Lama, please, please live long. And for Gishi Sherab, Beloved teacher, leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path, you are the unequal guide. Please live a long and stable life. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for hosting, Alexis. So kind. My pleasure. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining.